Okay, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Brian. Um, I'm super grateful for Professor Frydenberg um, for giving me this opportunity to participate in the industry engagement called the Industry Engagement Internship Program. Um, the past semester and a half, I've been working at Walters Kluwer, um, who, which is a global company um, and have many different departments, including health and accounting and tax. Um, I was not really hired by them. Um, it was more of a consultancy role um, where I was helping an internal um, process um, with the, pro uh, the program launches, pro uh, project launches. So uh, let's get started here. See if that works. Okay. The objectives of the internship were to fix their, what they called a flat Microsoft list. They had a previous version of their, their, pro, uh, their program launches that um, was working for a little bit, uh, but it wasn't exactly ideal. It wasn't keeping track of as much information as they wanted. Um, so they called upon me to think about some ideas for if we should try to upgrade the existing Microsoft list or possibly move over to a relational database. Um, in the end, we decided to uh, fix the Microsoft list since everyone has Microsoft products and within the company, they have permissions to access this list. Um, we had to pander our Microsoft list um, for a couple different groups within the company. Um, we had program managers, we had the product council, and we also had the business function leads. Um, the managers were really the ones who go into the Microsoft list, make edits, um, updates, while the council and the uh, business function executive, or not business function, but the executives of the company um, would want to see more general summarized information. So um, this project kind of took, kind of divided up into two stages where we focused on the list to bring in all of the data that would be helpful for the program managers. And then we also worked on some visualizations and are in the process of creating a summary using Power BI, which I'll talk about later. Continue. All right, my responsibilities as a consultant at the company uh, were to participate in weekly meetings with a group of eight or nine employees at the company where I would uh, present my findings and results from the previous week uh, and ask for feedback, essentially. Then we would discuss for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I would take my diligent notes. Um, and that's essentially um, that back and forth process of I would do my own little research and actually work on the Microsoft list. Then when I went to present my findings, they would give feedback. So I was essentially doing all the work while the other part uh, members of the group were telling me what to do. There we go. So we had a variable timeline. This internship was originally planning, planned to last around one semester from September to December-ish. Uh, however, we weren't finished with the original Microsoft list upgrades by uh, winter time. So we agreed to continue this internship um, through winter break when we were able to finish uh, around or be able to launch it around January, February time. Um, right around that time, uh, a couple members came up to me and said, hey, would you like to work on some visualizations um, and help us out in that aspect? And I said, of course, that'd be wonderful. Uh, so I took on the task of doing some Power BI research. Um, and I had a really interesting experience called Dashboard in a Day, which I'll talk about shortly. So Power BI. Power BI is one of the Microsoft visualization 
um, software programs. BI stands for uh, business insights. So it essentially takes a ton of data from your business and crunches the numbers and presents the results in a nice customized way. It's free. Um, you can see real-time dashboards and interact and click for different filters. It's really, really cool. Um, for the visuals, there are a bunch of pre-made ones, but you can also access a um, online market of visuals that other people have created um, that Microsoft might not have thought of, but are helpful in general. Plus, since it's a Microsoft product, there's great integration with SharePoint and the Office Suite and Teams, et cetera. So this dashboard in a day thing, um, I had no idea this existed, but because of my access within the company, um, I got emails about the dashboard in a day thing that Microsoft sends out to um, bigger technology companies. And uh, these companies sponsor a Microsoft employee to uh, present kind of a walkthrough demonstration of how to use Power BI. It takes a whole day. Here's the schedule. Starts at nine o'clock in the morning and ends at five o'clock p.m. Um, going through five different labs, um, which I'll break down and show some of the results um, that I made. The first step is accessing and preparing data. So with our um, pro project at Walters Kluwer, our data source was this list. It is an online SharePoint list that we had to make a connection, make sure our, all the permissions were set. Uh, it took a little while, but we got it. Um, once we pulled it into uh, Power BI, we can start our modeling and exploration process. So with modeling, we had to look in the back to build relationships between different tables. We can make new tables for uh, sorting, or keeping track of the version history of our Microsoft list. And then it's also a good idea to explore existing dashboards as guides, um, maybe give you some of your own ideas um, on what to present. Now, this is the big part, visualizations. Again, there are hundreds of different visualizations. I tried just playing around at first, pulling in different columns and what, what, what happens? Uh, and as a result, when I shared uh, to a couple of the members, they said, this looks super messy. Um, why don't we sketch out a little plan first? Um, kind of like a wireframe to maybe, you can either even draw it um, on like a sketch pad or do it what you want to see first. Uh, also consulting with other members to see what they actually want to see and not just play around. But of course, it was good to play around to get familiar um, with all the different components of Power BI. Next, oh, I mean, here are some examples. Um, this is the first, uh, like the homepage when you pull up a data set um, and you've created some report here. Here are all the visuals, your data, some filters, and these are different panels made up of these visuals, like tables and bar charts. Um, this kind of summary in text uses artificial intelligence and machine learning behind the scenes. I know it's kind of crazy to try to estimate what you might want to see. Um, we haven't gone that far yet, but I'm intrigued. And lastly, to publish and build a dashboard. That's the end goal. So it's available throughout the company. Just keep an eye on um, the permissions and where this dashboard should be viewed. So the data doesn't leak anywhere. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about how my experience here at Bentley was able to help um, my internship with Walters Kluwer. And I pinpointed three different classes um, that helped me prepare uh, for this internship. Internship. Let's start with CS150. 
which is the introductory database class working with Microsoft Access and a little bit of SQL. Um, the general information about data types was super helpful. Um, here is one of the access fields that we worked on in class um, where we had to identify what type of data type the different fields are. And this transfers into our Microsoft list where there are different data types within the list. For example, there are called choice data types, which is somewhat kind of like a predetermined selection list that you can choose from. Um, we have date types. Uh, this kind of formatting I'll talk about in a little bit. I use JSON for that. And then uh, since it has uh, connections with the Microsoft servers, you can put in people as well and contacts. The next database class CS350 um, was big on relationships. For example, this was one of the in-class exercises where we practiced creating primary IDs and the one-to-many or many-to-many many, many relationships. And that perfectly correlated with the relationships uh, in our data model over here, um, where we connected the, for example, a manufacturer to a product based on their manufacturer ID. And this isn't the real data from WK. This is from the dashboard in a day exercise. So just don't worry back there. Okay, next uh, was, oh, a little bit more about uh, CS350 of normalization. I was super confused on what normalization was when I first learned about it in class. Um, but once I got the hang of it, make sure that each column is nuclear, one piece of information per uh, cell, we were able to, um, it was able to, able to help me um, be familiar with the kind of layout of the data that is brought in um, into the data model um, in the Power Query editor. This is where we do all of the transformations that I'll talk about uh, in the next slide. Here are, for example, the applied steps. Okay, here, uh, MA346, super helpful. That is the data science class, um, primarily based around Python. Um, but since Power BI kind of has a drag and drop um, and Microsoft List has a drag and drop kind of um, uh, UI, it was a little bit easier, but with data cleaning, there are so many different options, for example, merging, changing the data types, splitting, um, creating new columns. All of this was super helpful in preparation for the visualizations. It was really necessary to clean the data before we made the visualizations so we wouldn't have any text in a number field. Okay. so. Here are some accomplishments that I learned throughout the project. Um, or that This is the end result as of now. We have released the list, the Microsoft list with all of the, up, almost all of the updated data, um, like updated projects, um, the correct phases, all to the internal company for executives and project man managers to check and observe. Um, again, we're taking ongoing feedback with them every other week or so. Um, and we are continuing with the Power BI development. Um, and maybe in a couple of weeks, we will release that to some specific company employees to ask for their feedback as well. Some key takeaways. Um, I really had to work closely with the group um, that I was working with. Um, they're super helpful with giving me feedback, giving me sources and what to research, what to look for online. Um, uh, when I was going into this internship, um, when I first met Ryan over there, um, he talked about Power Apps and um, Power BI, Microsoft Lists, and I didn't really know what those were. I knew they were Microsoft related. Um, however, um, in between the meetings, I had to do quite a lot of research um, to build my 
understanding of what is expected of me, especially. Um, and lastly, here, um, I just want to make sure that I remember not to promise too much um, since I was really excited when I first got into this internship. Um, I want it to be the best. Um, and it's just a little reminder that it might be better to promise less and over deliver instead of promising more and under delivering. And what I learned um, throughout the Microsoft list process, um, there was lots of behind the scenes with permissions uh, within SharePoint. So SharePoint integration, JSON formatting. That's how I got the little circles uh, with different colored symbols. Um, this is how I formatted that column. Like if this column equals blank, then this color circle appears. Um, so I had to do some research on how JSON works, and that'll be helpful later on, of course. Um, DAX and M, those are somewhat ambig or, uh, not well-known coding languages within the Microsoft uh, environment, um, and specifically within Power BI. Um, this is, for example, a little bit of M code um, that creates and uh, the steps for once you pull in the data to clean the data. This is just what the computer sees uh, behind the scenes. And lastly, uh, I learned that it's pretty difficult to make a visual look good since there is so much customization that Power BI offers. Uh, sometimes I can be a little stuck and um, don't know how to move forward, but this has been a huge learning process and I will continue to improve the visuals. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can take a few questions if you'd like. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you said it in the beginning, but what is your major? A CIS major. Yeah. Yep. Any minor? Um, I might declare a math minor. Um, I was originally going to go eco -fi, and then I took Professor Frydenberg's Python class, and I moved over to data analytics, and then eventually CIS. That's my little story. I liked it so much. Yes. You talked a little bit about the impact, but I just <clears throat> think you sell it a tiny bit short. So just to, to help other people understand, while it might sound separate that we were building a list, um, you have to understand this is a business unit of about a thousand ish people trying to launch new products. And what we were dealing with was that every single group had a separate spreadsheet or list somewhere. And by building something within kind of the existing e ecosystem, we could get everyone onto it very quickly without having to buy a product or do custom, you know, you know, Python or Java development. Um, and actually, even as of this morning, this is now the official list of project launches that might go to basically anyone involved with, with go to market. So while the technologies are kind of um, perhaps modest, it's like within the, you know, the, the Microsoft Cloud Office offering, the impact can be really, really profound because it was already there. So we didn't have to do any procurement. It was already tied to all of our authentication. Um, and we can just get everyone to use that same list, which has been a huge impact. So I want to make sure you don't sell yourself. Some <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I guess I'll pitch in as well on the visualization post. I, my uh, husband, uh, Brian, and I got to really work together. He's done an excellent job. So uh, there's never been any criticism about the visualization. And it is um, it is a very complex process. But because it's data that has been living in different environments for a long time, no one's really been able to see uh, to kind of visualize how long it takes to get through the, the whole pipeline, the whole from idea to go to market um, and to measure that. And now we have all the tools in place to really be able to measure it and make critical business decisions based upon pictures, but the pictures are all derived by data. Um, so it's very informed, precise and timely decisions. So well done. Thank you. We should point out that um, Ryan worked on this project for most of the year for about what a half a day a week, uh, more than that. Oh, he did it for a few days. hours, yeah, each week. What was 
So this is also the first year that um, the sandbox had the a program where we used to place tutors like Ryan, like like Ryan in those companies. What was it like for you guys having a student working with you sort of sometimes on a project like this? And what was different or what or unexpected um or, or like that? Um actually okay, so we're we're biased. I'll get the question come up soon. Yeah, you can be right. <laughs> uh we're very biased, you know, he and I are because we're also Bentley grads. Uh so I was excited to be working with Bentley students. Um and uh I, I just think it's the caliber. So I actually has uh I had one last year. Oh, right. Yeah, so um so both lived up to my high expectations of just being really um very responsive uh very dependable going out doing all the research having maybe not a lot of requirements um or perfect requirements and so really it's the extra effort that both have put into that um my expectation is not that they would be doing as much as they did but um and it's made a huge Huge impact. Each each of their projects have been a huge impact. So, you know, with everything, I mean, we are we become a very distributed company. So, um, actually, having Ryan join like some Microsoft Teams call, I think I think was just that you're in the dorm. I'm like, oh right, yeah, you're in college. <laughs> um, it, it probably was an easier transition, at least I think, as far as the experience. Um, I mean, the only thing is, yeah, I, I think we've probably gotten, yeah, we've gotten you to work way more than you were supposed to. So <laughs> thanks for that. Um, I'll, let, I'll let the chat about the hours later so we can figure out going forward if there's a better way. I think that's the only challenge is just it is a small enough thing that carefully keeping the project from getting too large uh, becomes important. Any other questions for um, Jeff? Yes. Uh, outside of the data visualization, uh, some of my experience is the data migration and data integration is difficult when, especially when it's coming from like disparate sources where, you know, you're not really finding it. Did you find that since all the data was in Microsoft, it was much easier to kind of uh, eliminate redundancies and kind of just get all the data together? Yes. So what I like about Power BI is once you pull in data, um, it creates its own kind of database within the file. Um, and so you can pull in a bunch of different sources in different from different tables, keep them separate, and then you can create your own relationships, um, make sure you can try to clean um, and connect exactly how you want to. There's within the data source, like insert new data or something like in, uh, pull in new data within Power BI. Um, there is hundreds of different accepted like database sources, you can even do Excel files, you can do access files, um, Oracle databases, MySQL. It's it has so much compatibility um, that once you bring everything in, um, in its own structure, you can merge or add rows. Um, it makes it really easy. So I'm sorry, I'm selling Power BI too much. But <laughs> thank you. My last question is before we um, also any of you online have questions, feel free to either unmute and then screen out or just type in chat and I'll, be, and I'll read them out for everybody. What happens next? Now, this is this is being delivered and it was very company, right? Yeah, it's already live. It's live. Oh, it's live. Yeah. 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 So, so who knows what happens next? We'll continue with the, uh, the Power BI. Uh, and I'll be communicating with Libby and Brian and the other members, Satya is here as well. And Sean, thank you. Um, so who knows? It is up in the air for now. Cool. Thank you. I, well, so who else do I give a shout out to if, uh, if nobody appears on the screen? I believe it's Sean and Satya uh, here and then Libby and Brian. Thank you guys for working with Brian. Um, you and Cloud. Thank you guys for listening.